We've seen multi-dimensional and multi-level arrays. Uh, now let's take a look at how we represent some uh, other structures besides just plain integers or pointers in memory. In C, we have the concept of a struct. A, a struct is a definition of a composite data type uh, that has uh, sub-elements that are, are uh, in turn other data types themselves. In this case, we have a, a small struct here with three elements inside of it. One is an integer. One is an array of integers, in this case a three-element array, and the other is a pointer uh, to an integer. So those are three uh, parts to that uh, struct. In memory, it's going to be laid out as a contiguous set of bytes uh, for each of those uh, parts. The first four bytes will, of course, be the integer i. Uh, the next 12 bytes will be the three integers of the array a, uh, contiguously allocated. And then finally, the last four bytes will be a pointer to an integer uh, in a 32-bit architecture. So total for this struct is a 20-byte chunk of memory, contiguously allocated. Uh, and we can refer to the members of this structure by the names we've given them. Uh, but the members can be of different types. They don't have to be the same. Uh, in this case, these are either integers or pointers to integers. But those are very different data types. Okay. So how do we access uh, a structure member? Uh, well, uh, given uh, an instance of a struct, we can use the dot operator uh, just like in Java. So for example, if we declare uh, one of these stru rec structs that we've just defined, uh, declared here, uh, we can give it the name R1. Then we can refer to that first integer in uh, R1 uh, by writing R1.i. Uh, and that uh, refers to just that first integer that is part of that larger struct that has a couple of other things in it. Okay, if we have a pointer to a struct rather than the struct itself, in other words, we've declared uh, not the struct R1 as we did in this case, but in, uh, a pointer R to a struct of type rec. Uh, in other words, uh, we, that would be something like the address of the R1 struct we declared previously. Um, we're now using, we're going to be using the star and dot operators because we first need to dereference uh, the struct pointer, uh, get to the starting location of that, uh, of that struct in memory, and then offsetting that by the position of the member within the struct. Okay, so this happens so often in C uh, that we actually uh, give it a shorthand. Uh, we give it the shorthand R right arrow I. Uh, and the arrow is drawn as a dash followed by a greater than sign. Uh, and that's uh, just a shorthand for doing that dereference uh, first. Uh, that's what the parentheses indicate. And then the dot. Okay, so you'll often see uh, this kind of construct in C uh, because we have pointers to structs uh, rather than uh, the struct themselves. So uh, here you see a simple function uh, that is used to uh, set the value of that first element of this type of struct. So it takes a pointer to that struct as an argument and a value to put in that first member. And it says, well, I have that pointer. Let's dereference it and offset to I, that first member of the struct, and then give it the value of val. The way that ends up looking in assembly code is uh, very straightforward, actually, because uh, we have the value val in EAX, and uh, we're going to have the pointer to the element in uh, EDX, and we're just going to say move that value val uh, to EDX at that address. So the parentheses again are the dereference operator. In this case, we don't have an offset because that was the i is the very first element of the struct. So it's at that starting address. If, uh, if uh, we had to provide an offset, there would have been an additional uh, offset here in front of the parentheses. OK, so let's uh, take a look uh, at a slightly more complex case, uh, generating uh, a pointer to one of those uh, elements of that array inside of the struct. Uh, so in this case, uh, what we would like to do 
is uh, find the particular element that we're interested in by providing an index. So we're going to provide uh, a pointer to the struct and then an index into the array. And in this case, what we want to return is a pointer uh, to that integer element. Okay. So to return the pointer, uh, what we will do is first uh, do that R arrow A. Uh, that gets us to the starting address of the array within memory, uh, within that struct and then uh, index that array by the appropriate offset. Uh, and then uh, the ampersand uh, says, well, I don't want the value there. I want the address of that value and return that. Okay. How we uh, see that in assembly code is just two in simple instructions. Uh, the very first instruction computes the offset into uh, the struct. So in this case, the offset is uh, is four times uh, the index uh, to get to the right position within the array. Uh, you'll then notice we'll take that value, which we store in EAX here, uh, and add another four offset to it, because that ar array starts at four bytes into the struct. Uh, then, of course, EAX has the offset within the array. And uh, the EDX is the starting address of the struct, that first parameter. We add all of those together. So we start from R, add on the 4 to get to the A uh, portion of the struct, the array portion of the struct. And then we add uh, on the 4 times the index to get to the right element inside the array. And uh, since we're returning just the address, we can stop there after we've computed the address. We don't need to actually do a memory uh, reference.